about to do a super grossed out close up of my lips and it's going to be damp to the lips this time. Um, right here I am using Nice Moss Lip Pencil by MAC. You can use NYX Prune and we are just outlining the outside of my lips and I am continuously to blot the color so that it kind of moves itself inside towards the inside of my lips. And now I'm going to just add some more color and drag it in at the same time so that it kind of fades into the inner part of my lips. Then I am going to add a just a red lip. Whatever color lip you want to put on, you can use it. It really doesn't matter. But on this one, we're doing a vampire lip, so we're going to add red to it. And of course, it looks red on, I mean, well, it looks orangey on, you know, camera, but you know what color Ruby Boo is. I'm gonna pat some more into it. I'm gonna clean it up by using this LA Girl Pro Concealer and this MAC, well no, I'm lying, it's a Sigma brush. Uh, this is a Sigma Flat Definer brush. And I added just a little bit of concealer and I'm just gonna define the outside of my lips so that it looks nice and neat. You guys, I know everything looks super gross. All those open pores, all those little pimples and acne marks, yeah. So yeah, I'm going to define it on both sides as well as the top. Whenever you define your look, make sure that you try to use a color that's either your foundation or a color that's close to your lips or a shade lighter because you don't want to look like you just have like this nasty ring around your face. When you are doing it, also make sure you drag the color away from your lips and use your fingers to pat out or blot out the color from being so, um, I don't even know the word, or so strong, so strong. Like I said, we're pulling out that color so that you don't see any harsh lines and it doesn't look so strong, so bright. Because I'm using a color that's really my color I would use if it was by itself, but it doesn't look too good, you know, right there. So that is the finished look. But I want my lips to stay on a little bit longer, so I'm going to use a translucent setting powder, and this is Derma Blend Translucent Setting Powder. And when I blot that all over my lips, and really just let it sit for like three seconds, this is going to help your lipstick or your lip gloss to stay on a little bit longer, and it's going to make it matte, even more matte. Because we lost a little bit of color, but not too much color. I wanted to add a little bit back and I just dab on some more. You guys, if you want to, you can use a black liner and that will give you a super black um, vampy look, but only use it on the outside corners of your lips, not the top of your lips. Only if you want to. But there's the little finished project um, suit, suit that is super close. Good Lord Jesus. Anyways, that is it. I hope you guys like this tutorial. Thumbs up if you liked it. Um, if you want to see other videos, definitely leave me a comment below. Thank you so much for watching. Mwah. Bye.